Hi, my name is Alexander. Greetings from the Sidechain SDK development team. Today I want to demonstrate to you how sidechains can be declared inside the main chain, how coins from main chain can be transferred to the sidechain, and sidechain will synchronize with the main chain network. Also, I will show you how balances will decrease during such a transfer in a main chain and increase in a sidechain. Okay, let's switch to the screen. On the left part of it, you can see command line for Zen D and Zen CLI. On the right part of the screen, you can see sidechain related console. At first, start in a main chain node. You can see a new parameter here called WebSocket. Sidechain node use a WebSocket interface to synchronize with the main chain node. Now we are going to declare a new sidechain in the main chain, but before we should pre generate some coins inside the main chain. Ok, blocks were generated and we expect to have some coins in a main chain wallet. Perfect, we had a bit more than 1300 coins. Please remember this value. It should be decreased accordingly to the value we are going to transfer for the sidechain. To create a sidechain, a new RPC method was introduced in a main chain RPC. Here I specified new sidechain ID, withdrawal epoch length, an initial bootstrapping coins, 30 cents to one sidechain address, and 50 cents to another sidechain address. Transaction was successfully generated and put into mempool. Let's see how it looks inside. You are able to see the new fields inside the transaction. The data we specified before appears here. Generating a new block. Verifying that transaction is inside this block. We can see the ID of the transaction here, the second one. Also, the balances have decreased because we sent 80 coins to the sidechain plus some transaction fee plus sidechain creation fee. Cool! From the main chain point of view, we just created a first sidechain. So, how to start a sidechain which related to the main chain and this creation transaction? For this purpose, at first we should take sidechain genesis info about the created sidechain from main chain using another new RPC method. The response contains a hexadecimal string that contains sidechain ID, mainchain block where this sidechain creation transaction included, mainchain block height and pole data to verify next mainchain block proof of work inside sidechain network. Also, we have a special sidechain bootstrapping tool that give such and developers possibility to create a genesis block. That will have inside first main chain block reference with such creation transaction. 
Using the data we retrieved from the main chain, we call sidechain bootstrapping tool common together with another parameters, like sidechain genesis block signing key and main chain network type. The sidechain genesis block with another genesis data was generated. Moreover, basic sidechain configuration file with the data was created. This configuration file will be used by a sidechain node instance. Now we are able to start a sidechain node. Sidechain application was successfully loaded and connected to the main chain node with a WebSocket interface. This interface will be used by Sidechain during blocks forging to include the new main chain block references and to synchronize with the main chain network. Let's see the Sidechain Genesis block and verify that it contains the info we provided him in our configuration file. To interact with the node, I will use sidechain RPC client. Ok, blocks contains a reference to the block in a main chain where we have declared sidechain. Also, let's check sidechain node balances. Great! You can see the bootstrapped coins inside the sidechain wallet. Just remember that balances are displayed in Satoshis. Now I want to demonstrate to you how to send a forward transfer from mainchain to sidechain. So transferring a coins from mainchain to sidechain. For this, we need to create a transaction in a main chain with a cross chain output and mine a block with that transaction. But before, I want to create a new destination address in the sidechain. Now we can use main chain RPC method to create a transaction that will send 10 Zen to the address we have just created. I'm switching back to the Zen Salai window. Ok, transaction was created, mining the next block, block was created, perfect. Now let's forge a sidechain block and see that sidechain node synchronized with the main chain network. Block was generated, and what is inside? Good, we can see that the new main chain block reference appeared and was applied in a sidechain block as well as a forward transfer inside it. Let's check the balances. Balances in the sidechain increased and the new box appeared. So, that's all for today. Thank you for your attention and see you soon. Bye.